Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today, let's talk about the Ryzen release date. Obviously, I don't know anything for certain, but I am really, really certain, um, or really close, or strongly believe, however you like to put it, that uh, I've got a pretty good idea on when we will actually be seeing these Ryzen uh, processors. And I'm going to point out a couple similarities, a couple things that uh, happen to align up uh, on a certain date that uh, really suggest that, um, strongly suggest actually, that uh, we know when the processors will be releasing. So if you're unfamiliar, at CES, AMD kind of did a benchmark with an 8-core 16-bit processor against the 9900K. And well, they both did really good. The AMD actually kind of came out slightly ahead. And so we all were, you know, really excited for that, but we didn't get any actual information. So obviously, I don't think that this date is going to be a release of information because it's a little bit in the future and it actually does line up right when AMD said that they're going to release the processors in Q2 uh, 2019 which obviously this is an exact date that I'm going to be suggesting not necessarily just Q2 2019. Um, so the reason why I wanted to kind of make this video is because the way that this lines up it really does strongly support um, a certain date that we will actually be seeing processors uh, released. We will actually be seeing processors on the shelves. I definitely do think that we will be getting sometime in the near future an actual list of specs, but I don't think this date will be that because it's so close to Q2 tw uh, 2019 that I think that we will have to get specs earlier before we actually get a release of these processors. So here's the little inf interesting information. So AMD's, I believe, 20th and its 50th anniversary is coming up. Now, obviously, sorry, I was not thinking there for a second. 50th anniversary is uh, coming up. And so everyone's going, hmm, what is AMD going to do for their 50th anniversary? Well, it's a great way to do a 50th anniversary by releasing another processor. And what does this date fall on? May 1st. Hmm, right around Q, Q2 2019. Lines up with what they already said. Um, it actually seems like a time that you know, it's it's a good time to release a processor. It kind of, as I said, falls into where AMD said they were going to do it. And it's the 50th anniversary, similar to kind of what Intel did with the 8086 or 8000, 8686 processor. I don't remember uh, the exact name of it. But it was the anniversary edition for Intel. They released their processors. Wouldn't it be a great way to start off um, 29, or get 2019 started with releasing these processors on the 50th anniversary, right when they said they were going to, that just seems too good of an opportunity to pass up, which really makes, you know, a lot, I mean, I, I was looking it up and I realized that, you know, that just the whole way that that lines up, I mean, I would have to expect we'd get some type of good processor. And if AMD and these rumors are to be correct, which so far we have a little bit of a discrepancy in the rumors and the fact that they were going to be announced, which technically we did get an announcement of a Ryzen 3000 series, but we didn't get individual specs or talks or discussion about those processors. So I would assume that so far, the, really, you could say that the rumors have not been invalidated. We could really expect to see these, you know, such substantial performance increases in these processors and we could actually see them released in Q2 2019 on May 1st. And I would really, you know, be looking at it. Um, it's really likely that that lines up that way. I do think though that looking at the other rumors for processors like the 3850X, uh, 3, that it really does seem that they were going to maybe announce it but because obviously if you look at the rumors that's a process that they're going to announce around May so if you look at the way that that's kind of lined up it seems there'll be some event in May that will be either a release um, or announcement with 8000 1850x um, for the AM4 platform so basically I wanted to make this video because it just seems like such a perfect you know lineup of events that AMD would you know be it would be a waste to pass up, and I feel like if they're going to announce something, why announce something that's such, like, so out of the question, like, almost impossible, and announce that, uh, according to these rumors, announce that on the date of their 50th anniversary or something really high-powered. I feel like, and then, you know, really show that Intel, or that they've kind of gotten ahead of Intel in the speed game as well. Um, so I really think that 
there was a pretty good chance that we could expect to see those processors physically on the shelves um, on the on May 1st, which I think is something to be excited for. That would be my guess, and that's why I'm going to be waiting um, and really betting on is that May 1st we'll see these Ryzen processors. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with friends. As I said, this is just a guess, but it's a pretty good guess, and there's a lot of things that line up on the date. So, I mean, by all means, let's see what happens then. I'm going to be waiting for 3800X to upgrade mine. And uh, I hope to see you guys around very soon. So thank you very much for watching. Check out my channel for other cool tech-related news, videos, reviews, builds, things of that nature. Goodbye.